Last time on Yakuza Like a Dragon. Remember what you did in Eugene Show? Now it's your turn. Ah! Ah, it's true! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited. You bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. I'm surprised Nintendo joined our side! <laughs> Fucking carry you, Kazuma! See you tomorrow, Ichi. They found Arakawa's body in the ocean. I knew it! Kasuga, you should run. Are you asking all these fine people to just accept that paradox? <laughs> in this case, we must! Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. <laughs> ah, he walked into that! Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. <gasps> Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and why are you people getting in my way? I have to go save Chairman Hoshino, because it looks like Sawashiro's trying to kill him. Yeah. Nanba, spin on them! Thank you, Nanba! Chairman! I'm coming, Chairman! Holy fuck. Those are all Seiryu clan guys. Oh no, Takabe! Captain Takabe! Kasuga, you're shot! It was the Omi Alliance. About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. On my way! Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance. Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? Don't fuck with me, you assholes! Oh no! Trolls, she don't fool nobody if you stand a chance! Here we go. Go, boys! Fuck you. Out of my way, assholes! You're not worth it! There we go. I'll take it. Fights go a lot faster when you're high leveled. No! Cap. Captain Sawashiro. You're late, Ichi. You killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the Eugene Three. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Eugene Cho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Ichiban! Ichiban! <laughs> F 
forget it. You know how important it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? Ha! You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? I have a feeling Sawashiro is making himself out to be a villain on Sawashiro! purpose. I have a feeling he's making himself out to be a villain on purpose. At least that's what I think. Sawashiro is pretty fucking tough, I give him that. All right. Oh man, he just had to pull out a weapon. Yeah, but is it really something to worry about? We were last time, didn't you? Yeah, but it was probably just luck. Either that or he wasn't really trying. And you don't know Captain Sawashiro like I do. Holding a weapon really amps him up. Uh, so this is gonna be a tough fight any way you slice it. For sure. I mean, he's a captain under Arakawa the Assassin. So everyone be careful. Right. Yeah. You're in it now. You're going to be in a world of Right. <laughs> cool. Oh, is that it? I'm playing the whole thing this time. He wants to duel with swords? Then let's duel with fucking blades, man! Sawashiro, you have awakened the demon! Let's go. He's weak to slash! Oh, that's gonna be very bad for him. That all you got. Ow. Okay. That did hurt. That did hurt. Have fun with this. Here we go. Don't now. Huh? Yeah. Is that all you've got. Wow, it's not doing very much damage. <laughs> oh, but I'm bleeding. Oh shit. So you're like this asshole! Oh wow! He blocked my regular attack! Let's 
try this. That was the chairman, you son of a bitch! What kind of move was that? A way more powerful one than I thought. It's based on a Western martial art. Since when do you know martial arts, dude? Since always. The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial arts book. Oh. And is the captain using the same fighting style right? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot that I didn't understand in the book. Damn. How many different martial arts does the captain know? A lot. Well, I think we're about to find out. Yeah. Makes me feel like a wimp. Hey, this is why you're a dancer, man. Oh, boy. Opportune strike. Oh, my God. Ow. That hurt. It's not going to matter because I'm just going to heal up. Gotta do some. I got this. No begging for mercy now. See how you take the rolling mixer. Woo! Ha ha! Oh, that's not good. If he knocks us down, he'll do that. Not that he's doing very much to us. Gotta do something. There we go. Uh oh. I'll kill you. There's something odd about this. Uh, yeah. Not like there was anything normal about this to begin with. That's fair. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your toes, everyone. Damn! Let's do it. Try this on the side. Let's do this together. I'm ready now. Okay. Let's go. I'm up. Let's go, time. Let's see. Oh, he's gonna gradually start recovering HP, is he? Well, I shouldn't allow that to happen. Cool. That'll be good. You're gonna be in a world. Of he got a thousand back. You're in it now. Yes. You're done. Huh? Let's go. Got him! Nice! Master of Trade. Ooh, raise 30, uh, raise, uh, j uh, three job ranks the max. Yep. Nice! <laughs> I'm getting stronger! Sweet! I knew would never just blindly follow orders. 
Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh. I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but... Even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Oh, he and Ichiban are almost exactly alike in a lot of ways. Just different personalities. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. No. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. Oh no! But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. Oh wow. All on her own. I was working at the time, laying asphalt as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... Oh my god! That's the baby Arakawa rescued! Sawashiro's his father! We're going to hell, aren't we? Probably. I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? No. Ah, that works. It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. I can't! I have to go back! Stop. We took care of it. Let me go! Fuck! What? Damn it! Open 
you piece of shit! Open! Shit! Oh my god, I knew it! It wasn't his real son! Look, are we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to write it. This... This is my child. Well, this might work out. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift, right? It's for the best, really. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Damn it! Move! Move! And now I understand. Oh my god. So Arakawa-san took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. That's why he's doing everything, is because Sawashiro is his father! And it makes sense why they're both such horrible fucking people, because they're both horrible fucking people! Also, now I'm just piecing together, I think that... I think Ichiban is actually Arakawa's son! Because that whole thing about him saying that he had a dream where Akane gave birth in, um... The soap land. I think that maybe that is what happened. That maybe, like, the baby, like, you know, wasn't put into a locker. Or maybe it was, like, or someone found him and, like, you know, took him to the soap land. I don't know. But I think that, I, I, I think now Ichiban might be Arakawa's real child. The young master is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. <sighs> How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. Holy fuck. Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamurocho. With my son. Why is that? Huh? That kid... I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age, so he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. Why me? Why am I the only one who can't walk? Everyone else can. It's not fair. Mm. I heard those words, and I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. 
But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masami Arakawa. Okay, then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. Because he saved her child. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you. This is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. And then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. No, don't, don't use that Didn't word. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Crucial detail? Yeah. Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Oh my god, are you yes. not picking it up? So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery. It gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. <sighs> He's not here. Right next to it. Oh, gotcha! Boss, over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait, no. If he's still here, that can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Another baby? What should we do? Oh no. Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for him. Oh my god. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized. Oh no. The other man had taken the wrong baby. Oh my god. 
Ichiban is Arakawa's son! Holy fuck! You took the wrong baby. He had no idea. After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker, just in case. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> Or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Wow. Hell no. You think I'm going to just let you walk away after you killed the Seiryu clan's chairman? Do what you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman? Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. But then... I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure. But maybe Lieutenant Ishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda, then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins? The legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. Wow. I kind of had this... Like, here's the thing. is that, You know in the last episode when Arakawa said something about... Um, Maybe it wasn't the last episode, maybe it was one before, I don't I don't remember. I, I'm recording these all in, like, a short span of time. When Arakawa said something about Ichiban and having a dream where Akane had the baby in the soap land, I think that maybe he had a hint that Ichiban might have been his son, or, at the very least, I think that he thought of Ichiban as his own son. Because Ichiban was so much like him, and Masato just wasn't. And now it makes sense why. What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. Oh, wow. What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess, I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. <gasps> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. 
So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. Shit. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. I... I think that, you know, Alki will have him killed in prison. God damn it! Fate of our fathers. Now I get why it's called Coin Locker Baby. Damn! Boy, damn it. I am sad that the chairman's death is kind of brushed, like, under the rug with this whole huge revelation, but, oh boy. We're getting right down to the wire, guys. We've only got two chapters left. Holy fuck. But it makes so much sense now why Ichiban is just like Arakawa and has his own ideals and everything. It makes sense. He now knows who his parents are. It was at that moment I realized the other man had taken the wrong baby. Then, you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Agan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Oh my god. Did arakawa son? No, I was his son all along? Who knows? No way to know. Damn it. Why did he... Fucking damn it! Hey, what's going on with you, man? Everyone's worried. I am too. Don't be. I just gotta settle something. What? With who? Ryo Aoki. Who else? But how? We don't even know where he is. Get Kume to tell me. Where is the bastard? He'll know! Okay, okay. My guess is he's probably giving a speech somewhere. Maybe he's at the Bleach Japan office? Yeah. Most likely the Haku Ryo building. So that's where I'm going. But really? Well, uh, we're going too then. He's in a bad place right now, man. Damn, we're already surrounded. Yo, Kasuga-kun. We were just gonna call you. They're all Omi Alliance men. Not that they'll admit it. Are they just staring at us? Yeah, and more of them keep showing up. I don't like this. Hmm. I don't think they like us much either. Great. Then we all want the same thing. Hey, we're leaving! Let's just stay out of each other's way! To no! know! If you want to just sit there, go for it. But I'm coming through! We're 
skipping right to the good part. Well, quit talking and bring it on already! Okay. You're done. Oh. Indeed! Oh yeah! Woo! Haha! Oh yeah! It's even better because he's in the Goro Majima outfit. And stab! Oh, he rolled over. Oh, I stabbed him in the nuts. Oopsie. I'm not really oopsie. I don't really feel bad about doing that. So, yeah. Hey, hey, Ichiban. Is dealing with the Omi Alliance just gonna be our lives now? No okay. end of them. Oopsie. I don't mind taking hits right now. Charging forward without having to think about it is a nice change of pace. That's one way of looking at it. Let's just keep it up until we find Kume. <laughs> Most elections don't end with one cannon kicking in the other's door. If this was an honest election, then our Kawasan Chairman Hoshino would still be alive. Alright, let's go. Alrighty then. Wow, all these guys are just coincidentally right in front of the building. Wow. Okay. And now they're gone. Bye bye! Hmm? Pretty quiet for an election season. They all skip town. Oh wow. Doors open. No one's here. What's going on? Hey, yeah. Look, Ichiban! It's the Omi! Yo! Hey! Where's Kume? Don't you got any manners? Come on! Have a chat with us! How about I put my fist through your face instead? Get him, boys! I want Kasuga dead! A lot of fights are kind of easy now that I have these amazing skills. Because I don't got to worry about, like, fighting them. Like, I, I can hit most of them with just a few attacks. Get a load of this! Hell's Wheel! How is he even doing that? That doesn't... That defies physics! Yeah, we'll move! Because physics is on the way to kick my ass! Please, no! I have a family! You had a family! You're blocking the road! Us. Well, you're the ones that served Sawa Shirohan up to the cops, ain't ya? Why'd you even come here? What the hell's your problem? We need to talk to Kume. Where is he? Huh? 
Fuck if I know. Eat shit, asshole. I said, where is he? Better hurry up and answer. Cool it, Ichiban. That's too much. Spit it out. Where's Kume? Still don't want to talk? Think you're real tough, huh? Well, I'm just getting started. Oh, oh Jesus! I, I could punch you a hundred times before I even get winded. How about you count them for me? I'll take over once you black out. Answer my question. Where's Kume? Have it your way! Not my fault if your face caves in! Okay! He ain't in Ijincho no more. He went to Kamurocho. What? Why Kamurocho? Remember how you pushed him into that van? Well, he went crying to his mama for help. That's Ryo Aoki now. Kume's gonna wind to Aoki that he can't campaign without more security. <laughs> What a spineless coward. He really thinks he's fit to win a national election. All right, well forget Kume. Take me to Rio Aoki. I can't do that. Even if I wanted to. You killed Arakawa-san. You killed Jim and Hoshino. I have a feeling our own party's gonna have to stop him. <laughs> Ichiban, Ichiban's acting out of pain and anger. I answered you. I told you. Everything I know. The whole city's been turned into a hellhole. And I'm still punching my way through you useless fucking grunts. What's it gonna fucking take? Ichiban. Ichiban. Shut up. I just need to talk to him. Masato Arakawa and I need to have some fucking words. He has some shit he needs to answer for. Oh, dude! It's... Who the hell? It's Kazuma Kiryu! You... Why are you in Ichincho? I was just passing through. Passing through my ass. You helped us out in Osaka, I think. You got a name, big guy? How do you know Arakawa-san? My past isn't what's relevant here. Huh? I don't have the luxury of living out in the open anymore. But that gives me access to things most people miss. Yeah. Like what? Like how Ryo Aoki's next move will be right here in Ijincho. Huh? What's his next move? I was going to tell you that, but not anymore. What? I don't fuck around, man. Just tell me. I can't say I really feel like it after what I just saw from you. Yeah, that's Kiryu for you. Well, I can't say I'm feeling your tone right now, man. Who fucking died and made you king? My tone. You're the one who was beating up a guy who couldn't even fight back anymore. It shouldn't take a king to tell you that was uncalled for. Yeah. <sighs> what the hell is this next move the young master's gonna make? Spit it out! You're too blind with rage right now to understand it anyway. But I'll give you a chance. Come to Komi Jewel after the sun sets. I'll be waiting. Oh my god, do we have to Komi fight Kiryu? Songwe is currently taking measures to restore Komijo's surveillance system. But she doesn't know when exactly it'll be back online. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy how similar you are. Hmm? Pardon me. Oh, he's talking about the real Jungi Han. Back, I met a man who looked just like you. But then I saw him die with my own eyes. Oh. Sounds almost like a dream, doesn't it? I don't think so. I'd heard rumors he employed a body double. I take it that's you. Memories, dreams, can either really be trusted? Enough riddles. 
To become a man's shadow, your body and mind must be united with his for the rest of your life. In turn, a shadow will be born from me someday, a shadow with the same commitment. So you see, Jungi Han is more an immortal entity than he is a man. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> I get it. I don't. Do you know each other or not? No. We don't. But it's safe to say we share an acquaintance. <laughs> Small damn world, that's for sure. Tell me about it. So what was the thing about going to Comey Jewel? What's over there? Just be there if you care about anything I have to say. It's up to you. Dude, carry you, man! Oh! I'm glad that he stopped him. And now I get why this, this chapter is called Passing the Torch. Because Kiryu is passing the torch on to Ichiban. At least I think so. So, are you saying you didn't have anything to do with the Serio clan patriarch's death? Of course I didn't. A flat-out denial, huh? What if the public starts to doubt you? <sighs> the public's rumor mill doesn't concern me. So, just to be clear, we won't find any evidence you were involved. And Sawashiro's lips are sealed. Because a man in prison never talks. Even though you ordered him to do it. I got all that right? Is that how you expect me to interpret this? Yes. And lighten up a bit, will you? You need to understand. I don't want to cause my own police commissioner any undue stress. Well, can't say you're succeeding there. The situation is getting more shaky with every briefing. The whole damn Omi Alliance just fell apart, for goodness sake. Out of nowhere. And it makes me think that you were never really in control of Masumi Arakawa to begin with. He wasn't. Arakawa has already been dealt with. Okay, but wouldn't Sawashiro just take his place? Unless that was yet another miscalculation. I wouldn't ask so many irrelevant questions if I were you. Hmm. I know you have your concerns, but you need to relax. I have eyes on everything. Do you have eyes on all the Omi and Kamarocho who are now a bunch of unaffiliated, pissed-off thugs? With Arakawa and Sawashiro out of the picture, who's gonna rein them in? I haven't decided yet, but I will. No need to worry. But... That said, I do need to keep my distance from law enforcement right now. Optics and all. I'm sure you understand. So from now on, do not barge in here without my permission ever again, Horinu Uchi-san. It will not be tolerated. Says the guy who barged into national politics without anyone's permission whatsoever. And then made himself party chair. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to be consulted on that? Trust me. That wouldn't have changed anything. No one has enough power to stop me. We could have at least given you some advice. Maybe something along the lines of those who seek power are not worthy of it. <laughs> but you're right. It probably wouldn't have mattered. Weird how I don't like either of them, but I dislike, like, you know, Ryo Aoki, you know, Masato even more. That bastard ought to learn to respect his governor, huh? You want me to teach him a couple of things before he becomes a problem? <laughs> don't do anything drastic. He'll ruin my fun. <laughs> Your fun? He's gonna live the rest of his life at my beck and call. <laughs> but he doesn't know it, and I'm savoring every moment of that. Huh, I see. All right. Yeah, it's his way of getting revenge for stealing his girl. By the way, Kume came up for me, Jinsho, to beg you for help. He's whining about lack of security on his campaign trail. <laughs> okay, that's my purview. I'll handle it. As for your purview, how's that little task I gave you coming? I already made arrangements in Ijinsho. You won't be able to contact me until it's all over. <laughs> I know a governor's not used to hearing that, but... I hope you understand. 
Ishiura. Sir. You may just have what it takes to be the next chairman of the Omi Alliance. I think I'll make the announcement at the next officer's meeting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Yeah, I figured he's the kind of guy who thinks he's... Like, he's easily manipulated, which is why, you know, Masato is using him. And he too, he's too stupid to realize it. I'm expecting an Engoma Jewel. Gotta get over there. Yeah, I have a feeling like Kiryu came to help us, but of course, with, um... Like, with the way that, um... We're acting? Yeah, no, I, I'm not surprised that he's, that, like, just knowing Kiryu as well as I do, I'm just like, yeah, no. Not to say that Kiryu hasn't done similar mistakes in the past, like that, you know, Ichiban did, but the difference is, is that he learned from it, and he's trying to teach Ichiban not to make his same mistakes. Why is there a chair here? Oh, oh. Someone lives here. Oh, oh, that's why. Oh boy. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of think the story would have been better if it turned out that um, Ichiban wasn't Arakawa's son. I think it would have made for a much more interesting story because it's like a, I don't know. It seems like too much of a cliche, a little too far for me. Like I've seen worse stories. I really have. Is that windmill powering this place? Correct. We also have solar panels to generate power from sunlight. Oh, word? Wait, if, if you're generating power yourselves, why bother stealing it? In addition to living amenities, we also have the monitor room. It requires more power than you'd think. More than we can generate. That said, we've always dreamed of living completely self-sufficiently. It'd be nice to stop relying on anything from the outside. Wow. Guess even the Colmy Jewel's giving it all they got. So, exactly how much power do you guys generate on your own? At the moment, we can run one washing machine. Wait, you, you have this many windmills and that's all you guys can do? It's unstable. Cloudy skies, days with no wind, then we're at a complete loss of power. You guys could at least try to get the dryer working too. <laughs> Alright, that, that guy's just ahead. I'm fighting Kiryu Kazuma! I, I thought he was like a secret boss fight. I didn't realize he was like, uh, like, like an actual boss fight in the story. So you came, Ichiban Kazuga. You seem to know me, but I don't know crap about you. Don't you think that's a little unfair? Didn't peg you as someone who gets hung up on little stuff. There's nothing little about it. Isn't it normal to wonder that kind of shit? Okay, how about this? You can learn who I am, or what Ryo Aoki is up to. Pick one. Want to know more about me, or more about his next move? I came here to learn about the shit that'll make a difference. Ah, I love Kiryu! Kiryu's so good at this! Good choice. But I have one condition. What now? I want to see for myself whether you and your friends are worthy of the information I have. He's gonna fight us by himself. Oh my god. We're gonna have to fight the dragon of Gojima! Unfortunately for you, I've always used my fists to get to know someone. It's true. Yeah, well... Normally, I'm the same, but I can't afford that now. You have the info I need. Just share it with me already. Why would I? Because lately, I've just lost a lot of people I care about, and it sucks. I can't trust myself now. If I fight you, I don't know if I could even hold back. Listen. I could end up killing you. Ah! Hmm. Good. I'll take it. What the fuck? I'm not kidding around, man! Yeah, but I'm sorry, Kasuga. 
What I like about Kasuga is that Kasuga's power lies in people. Kasuga's power lies in the fact that he can unite people and he has people there to support him. But in contrast, Kiryu's power has always been in himself, his own convictions and his own strength and power. He always fought for other people, and sure, people helped him, but like in all the other games, he fought by himself. He was a one-man army that took on impossible odds pretty much by himself 90% of the time and walked away without dying, without any major damage to him. Even after being shot several times, he survived because he has the strength and willpower to persevere. And like I said, I love that their powers are exact opposites. Ichiban's is, is in people, and Kiryu is in himself. I love it. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. <laughs> the treasure you're after is right up there. I'm the dragon guarding it. Oh my god! So Oh my god! If you really think you're the hero it belongs to. You're going down! Come at me then! Oh god! Holy fuck, he just took it! Like it was nothing! He's at our level, holy fuck! Let's go. Want to fight? Dude, we're barely doing any damage to him, man! That's holy fuck, what is it he resisted to?! Oh my god, I know that move! I know these moves that he's using! Holy shit, he's just resistant to everything! He gets two moves in a row! That's what makes him the dragon of fucking Dojima, man! I got this! Oh shit! The bastard shifted his stance again. What the hell? Here we go. Oh my god, he just went to the rush style! Oh no! That's bad for all of us! He's a lot faster now! Holy fuck! Let's go! Every time I attack him now, he's gonna do that. Damn! Okay. You're ready now. Watch this. Oh fuck, man! Right. This is what it's like for everyone else who has fought him in the past. I love this. I'm now seeing what I've always gone up against because I was always the player. Let's tag in Jungi Han and see if uh, Han Chan has anything that can use against him. Uh oh. I think that only my essence moves are gonna not trigger his counter attack. Oh boy. He's resistant to guns too. Shit. 
I think he's basically resistant to everything. Which would make sense. We're taking a good chunk out of his health. I'm guessing that he's just resistant to everything and that he doesn't have, like, super high health. At least that's what I'm guessing. I'm not backing down. I never saw Assassin Drive, I don't think. Oh, no, we did. I think I'm going to have to take Nonchon out of the game. Because I'm sorry, that Breaker style ain't doing much against Kiryu. Oh no, the Beast style! Shit, 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 shit. Zhao, Zhao, I need you, Zhao! Oh no! Oh my god, I blocked that. I don't know how I did. Oh my god, but I blocked that. Holy fuck, I got lucky. Oh boy. Let's see if fire does anything to him. He's resistant to that too! He's just resistant to everything, which makes sense! Not to mention his defense has gone up now that he's in beast style, which makes sense. Oh no! The only good news is I know the pattern of most of his attacks because of the previous, my previous experience with the other games. I love how they've incorporated his different styles into his boss fight. Cause that, like, he didn't have his styles in like the last game he was in. He just had like the dragon style, which was it, so. Oh boy. I kind of want to see this with um, the shirtless. We never saw Essence of Ladder Acrobatics. Let's check that out, actually. Wow. Whoa! Oh my god, that would hurt a lot. The Dragon of Dojima style. And he was the, he, um, yeah, huh? Kiryu was the ex-fourth chairman. He was the fourth chairman of, uh, the Tojo clan. Former Tojo, uh, fourth chairman, oh my god. I'm not backing down. I got this. stand there? Blades seem to do the most damage against him. So that's why I'm just continually doing blade moves. Oh, damn. Except right now, when I'm out. I've also noticed that the, I, I don't think he's attacked Sachan this entire time. Part of me thinks that he won't because Kiryu doesn't attack women. And I, I'm guessing that unless she's like the last person left, I don't think that he'll attack her. Bring it on. I do like how I've had to use my entire party to fight him, though. I beat him! Holy fuck! And even then, I feel like it's more of a symbolic victory. I think that if he really wanted to, he could, you know, beat the shit out of all of us. Dude, Kasuga and everyone beat up to shit, but he's still fine. You can do better. 
Ichiban Kasuga. What? This is imagination, but it literally, this is what it feels like for him. <laughs> is that all you got? Come on! Namba! Namba! Such a... He's realizing that the way he acts is going to put all of his friends in danger. I don't think that's what actually. <laughs> Ichiban. Hey, come on. He knocked him clear out, didn't he? That punch knocked him out. I get it. Huh? What? Where's the dragon? Dragon? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> Feeling any calmer yet? Am I feeling any calmer? Yeah. Sure. I'm cool as a cucumber. Good to hear. But man, you really had to fight me just to make a point about being calm? It's only what <laughs> you were so blinded with rage. You couldn't see anything. It's else. also the only way Kiryu knows how to solve to his problems. Enemies, you need to stay level headed. Predict what they'll do next by putting yourself in their shoes. Think about what they're most afraid you'll do, and then do it. <sighs> That'll be the best move you and your friends can make. You know, something I really like is that it's obvious that Kiryu and, um, it, it, it's obvious that Ichiban and his friends are nowhere near as powerful as, um, Kiryu Kazuma. I like that. I like the fact that it's, that, that, like, you know, this is showing that they're nowhere near as powerful as he is. Then again, I think Kiryu is about 20 years older. I think that Kiryu is in his 60s in this game. I actually want to double check real quick. Hold on. A few moments later. Okay, he's not quite that old. He's 50. He's 50 years old, but seriously, holy fuck. For being a 50-year-old man, he wiped the floor with all of us. Now let's go. I'll show you exactly what Ryuaki's plan is. I like that Kiryu's here to help and everything, and it makes sense. What's the young master planning? I gotta get to the monitor room. Boy, that was a tough fight. Good timing. Songhui. So this guy here made a request of us. He wants us to look into a certain event in Ijincho before it happens. Before it happens? 
Yeah, basically he wants us to spy on some people floating around Rio Alki. Apparently there's something fishy about them. Well, is it going okay? Yeah, we're nowhere near full capacity, but... If you tell us something specific to look for, we can set up a decent dragnet. What are we looking for? Some kind of assassin who will be entering Ijincho soon. But I don't know from where. Why is an assassin coming to Ijincho? Sawashiro killed the chairman of the Seryu clan. Under the orders of Ryuaki. So as long as Sawashiro is alive and in police custody, he's a liability for Aoki. Even if he never talks. So, that's why the assassin is here? To kill Captain Sawashiro? According to my source, Aoki's not above killing his own man like that. Uh-huh. And would this source be among what remains of the Fixer's men? The masters of the Showa era? It seems you looked into my background while you searched for the assassin. I did. So, nothing gets past the legendary dragon of- That's not important right now. Yeah. But I'm impressed with your people. The Komi Jewel located the assassin easily. Thank you. And sorry if I almost blew your cover. Shall we get to it? Yeah, like the reason that they're not naming him and everything is that Kiryu made a deal with the, like basically he made a deal with the police. Um, like, and well, the government itself, actually. The government realized that basically like, they saw that every time there was a major upset in like, you know, the underground, like, you know, like Yakuza organizations, Kiryu was always at the center of it, whether by coincidence, um, happenstance, or like, you know, intentionally, he was always there. And they recognized him as a threat, but they also recognized they couldn't really do much about him because they tried to stop him. Uh, at certain points in other games, like the government tried to stop him. They couldn't. So they figured it's better to just make peace with him. So they made him a deal. They faked his death at the end of the sixth game. And sorry, this is spoilers for um, uh, Yakuza 6. They faked his death at the end of Yakuza 6. So that basically he wouldn't, uh, with the condition that he wouldn't get involved in like the criminal underground and everything. And like, like, you know, like, cause basically if the dragon of Dojima showed up, people knew shit was going to go down. So now he apparently does things from the shadows. He doesn't like, he still fights, but it seems like he only fights when he really has to. Whereas before he would rush into every fight that he ever saw. That's just who he was. So he got smart. He realized that if he kept going the way he was, the people he cared about, um, Haruka, like, you know, his adopted daughter and her little baby and, of course, like, her um, uh, significant other. Um, I can't remember his name right now. Um, but, like, he realized that, th like, basically his family and all the kids he was taking care of at the orphanage, they would all be in danger. So he faked his death and he pretends that he's dead and he can't let anyone know that he's still alive. Even if people figure it out, he has to be like, hey... Don't tell nobody. And I like that. It's cool. Where is this? The back alley of the bar district, facing the river. There was a familiar face on screen five hours ago. Zhao will recognize it. Huh? I will? Is it Mabuchi? Yes, that man there in the middle of all the Omi grunts. He seems to be their guest. See him? The man in a suit with a briefcase? Switch cameras. Ah! Oh. See, I told you. I sure as hell know that guy. That's Mirror Face. Mirror Face? <laughs> really? Sounds like a celebrity wrestler or something. More like a celebrity assassin. Really? <laughs> oh, this fucker could murder someone and make it look like an accident, even to the world's greatest detective. He's Excuse you, are you telling me that he could fool Batman? Fuck you. Batman could figure this guy out. How you call when he needs someone killed without the flies in the room knowing. He's a master of disguise, able to blend in anywhere. He's the best of the best. And Aoki hired him to whack Sawashiro. <laughs> I don't care how good he is. That's an impossible hit. Why do you think that? Because Sawashiro's in jail? 
one police disguise and mirror faces in. Yeah, that shit'll be a cakewalk for him. The young master still doesn't know that Captain Sawashiro is actually his dad. I gotta tell him. Why? What would that change? Everything, obviously. <laughs> if it means more power for himself, Ryo Aoki is perfectly willing to kill his own father. He's all but proven that every step of the way. He did kill Arakawa. Are we even sure that Aoki's next move is often Captain Sawashiro? Are we that sure? I told you that you had to think. Even if you're uncertain. After everything you've seen and heard since Sotenbori, are you going to back out now? You don't seem like the kind of guy who would. <laughs> well, you're right about that. Guess you're starting to figure me out. But, will you do me a favor? Help us out. We could use a guy like you. No, I can't do that. Why not? Oh. I've already done more than I'm allowed to do, Kasuga. If I keep going, it would be considered a breach of contract on my yep, part. Yep, like I told you. Damn, what shit deal did you sign? It's the Fixer, Kasuga. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who the hell's the Fixer? Oh, would you please just clue him in? Kasuga, everyone has things or people they treasure in life. You get that, don't you? Yeah. Well, I do too. Some time ago, I accepted I would have to disappear for the sake of what I treasure. So you see, I'm not supposed to exist anymore. That's why I can't get too involved. That's why I can't even tell you my name. That would be reappearing, and I can't let that happen. I don't really follow. When you fought me, what did you feel? Well, uh, I felt you were strong as hell. You're the real deal. <laughs> Thanks. I got a feel for you as well. That feeling was... You still got a ways to go. But one day, you'll be the real deal. I didn't pick that fight with you to determine a winner or a loser. Mm. I did it because I wanted to know if we'd be able to trust each other. <sighs> and I think we can. So trust me. And more importantly, keep trusting your friends. That's the path to become the real deal. It's true. This is goodbye, Kasuga. It's in your hands now. Thank you, Kiryu. You will remain a legend. So, Songhui, you seem to know a thing or two about that guy. All that stuff about a fixer. Did you already forget what he said? He's not supposed to exist. Understand? We didn't see anyone. We didn't talk to anyone. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> yeah, works for me. Dude made an impression on you. You're minding your own business for once. I mean, I just think he made a good point is all. I think we'll make some progress with his advice. Hmm. <laughs> he certainly was alluring, though. Yeah. Boss, we're picking up some movement. Huh? This is a live feed. A taxi just stopped in front of the building where Mirror Face is. Wait, that's... Ishioda. And Captain Sawashiro said he's the one who really killed Arakawa-san. Well, then it's true. Ryo Aoki is hiring assassins, and he's using Ishioda to kill again. This has got to be their move to silence Sawashiro, right? No way they can sneak into the police station during the day. It'd have to be at night. Definitely. But is it going to be tonight? If I were Aoki, I'd have it done tonight. The sooner Sawashiro's dead, the better it is for him. Damn it. I'm not gonna let the young master keep pulling this shit. Not if I can stop him! Sunghui, will you stay here and keep an eye on them with your monitors? We'll pay a little visit to Ishioda. It's time to launch Ijinjo's counterattack! Yeah!
Kishiro's hideout is a building in the center of the bar district. He's the type to keep tricks up his sleeve. Be careful. Right. Oh boy. Well, after our epic fight with the dragon of Dojima, I think that one, we have to rest for one thing. And secondly, we're getting about at time for this episode. Oh boy. Alrighty, we're close to where we need to be. We're in the bar district. So I think this is going to be about where we'll end it for this episode because, oh boy, I was, one, I was not expecting to fight Kiryu, two, I was not expecting that Kiryu would utterly destroy me the way he did. I mean, like, story-wise, like, I thought it'd be more of a, like, here's the thing, I expected Kiryu to win, I didn't expect him to utterly destroy us, but it makes sense because if the Yakuza games continue forward, with Ichiban Kasuga as the, you know, primary, like, uh, protagonist, then it makes sense that he still has a long way to go and everything like that. Plus, like I said, his power lies more in people than in, you know, like, the raw power that Kiryu has. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Yeah, next time we're gonna hopefully save Captain Sawashiro from being super murdered because that would... That would honestly suck for everybody. So, yeah. And after that, I assume that we're going to be getting on to the final chapter in this. We're close to the end, guys. Holy shit. I'm actually really surprised how close to the end we are. Wow. But either way, I'm having a blast. And if you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe it if you are not already. Ring that bell for all them notifications. Is And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful... Beautiful viewers.